The floodgates have been burst wide open when it comes to Nintendo Switch 2. To the point that even I am having a hard time keeping up. Every time I go to sleep, when I wake up, I somehow missed another credible rumor or report. And then, just as I finish that video, yet another one flies across my screen. I suppose we should have expected this after Nintendo's Furukawa publicly announced the platform exists and is coming. As they say, the Nintendo Switch successor. And he even gave a time frame for this fiscal year to expect more announcements and news about it. That's exciting, as naysayers can no longer pretend this isn't actually happening anymore. Just like I can't pretend that I wouldn't love it if you would drop a like and subscribe to the channel to help us on our goal to hit 150,000 subscribers this year. What's also exciting, of course, is since the floodgates have opened, we have new stuff to talk about daily. And today, that doesn't change. We have three particular updates. One that may have to do with the final name of the system. Another one that's an update to a prior story related to a project that appears to be for the platform. And still another that we have clarity on thanks to more updates. It is my goal to keep all of you as up to date on the rumors and reports for this platform as possible. So let's begin, shall we? First, let's start with the name of the system. Obviously, I'm aware that Nintendo Switch 2 is a made up name by us fans and reporters to just have an easy way to describe what we believe to be is a new generation of a Switch-like platform on the way from Nintendo. Fine. It holds no intrinsic value, or at least that's what I thought until today. Well-known insider Midori, who we have reported on before and keeps getting things correct, has now given us further clarification on what Nintendo has been calling the system. So first, we got to go over here and look at what happened leading into this. So first, we were talking about this project at Nintendo with the code name you King O. It might be related to the rumors of the next Nintendo console code name. And then Midori goes on to add, just late last night, I forgot to explain, You King is Breath of the Wild. Nintendo uses suffixes for ports of previous titles. Minus C for 3DS ports because 3DS is CTR. Minus S for Switch ports. But there is no minus O before. The rumored next Nintendo hardware code name is ounce and we're not going to go into that at the moment but we need to continue even though this is fascinating as it just hey clarification this could be a breath of the wild remaster coming to nintendo switch 2 we've talked about that already this just adds further clarification this was that update i was referring to earlier on one of the stories we've already covered now going down here it says maybe the code name is out because nintendo was able to put stronger hardware into a portable device that is still not too heavy to use so it's similar to the gamecube name pure speculation right but this is what i find fascinating this is about the name of the platform in conversations with developers, including Atlas and Sega, over the past few years, the next hardware is using the name Switch 2 or New Switch. But I do not think that is the final name. Now, there's a lot to digest here. First is her clarification on the Breath of the Wild supposed remastered codename, which is fascinating. Next is obviously the codename of the platform, Ounce. We have briefly touched upon this before, but for the purpose of this video, we won't go down the rabbit hole to explain where this codename came from because we end up getting into something that I find much more tantalizing. Nintendo themselves reportedly talking to one of their closest partners, Sega and Atlas, about the system over the last few years and calling it Switch 2 or New Switch. Of course, Midori clarifies that they don't think either of those names are the final name, but that's naturally an opinion. Her report is that Nintendo has been using that terminology to describe the platform internally with their closest partners for years. This means a few things, of course. First, Nintendo of Japan themselves 
realize how easy the name Nintendo Switch 2 and New Switch is to convey to partners, so they must know that those sort of naming conventions more easily communicate what the device is. I would love for you to go down in the comments and let me know if you think that either of these names are possible or what names you think they should use instead and communicate the idea of what this platform supposedly is better. The other thing that matters is the few years aspect. That means Nintendo has been communicating with their closest partners for quite some time here, not just the past year. They were likely seeking various input from them on specs, feel, and more. One aspect that is widely believed to be true about the Switch is that it was Capcom who convinced Nintendo to up the RAM in the Switch to 4 gigabytes. And if that was true, it's obvious they would reach out again to their closest partners who can keep secrets to get feedback on desires for them outside of Nintendo's own development bubble. Good news, really, and it may help explain why Nintendo, at least so far, appears to have opted for the hardware they have. We're not done, though. If you recall, we reported on another rumor from Midori about a game in the works at Nintendo with the codename Banquet. She has now provided an update on that as well. So the original report was a game is in development at Nintendo with the codename Banquet. Last night, she updated us to say this is a title that appears to be in development by ND Cube and a developer known as Smileboom. Now, the instant thing many of you will jump to is this must be a Mario Party game. And it's true that is primarily what ND Cube works on over the last couple of decades. Smileboom's more recent stuff has mostly been about make your own type of game tools, uh, meaning their involvement is likely about what tools are being made for the game, though it's possible there will be some sort of creation aspect in the final product. And that's fair. It absolutely could be a Mario Party game, and that possibly includes the ability to create your own game boards. That would be fun. But it's also notable that ND Cube also worked on 51 Worldwide Classics, and yes, everybody's one to switch. We can't guarantee that this project is indeed Mario Party related, even though that's the best guess at this time. Ultimately, we simply just don't know, and it's a rumor to begin with. Now you can let me know down in the comments what game you think this is gonna be, because I find this to just be utterly fascinating. Now, when we look at the rest of this and my general thoughts, obviously I've been on the Nintendo Switch 2 name train for quite some time. I think Nintendo should really continue to explore this avenue of an easily communicatable name. And there's a reason that tech products all across the industry keep using numbers to represent the next version, because it's just easily understandable. And I don't really want to see them go with a new name because when they used new in the past, it wasn't always like representing a brand new platform. You had new Super Mario Brothers U, which was just bringing side-scrolling Mario back. The new part of it was kind of a strange part of the name. And then we had like the new Nintendo 3DS, which was, you know, the... 3DS Pro of that era, right? We were hoping for a Switch Pro. Well, the new 3DS was a 3DS Pro. It wasn't a new generation. So I, I really hope they don't go with the new name. All That would typically be a totally Nintendo thing to do. It. Nintendo doesn't put numbers, but they would call it something like the new Switch, the new Nintendo Switch, which I, I it does communicate, I guess, better than like called it like the switch U or something hello wii u but you know I, I don't hope that that's not the final name obviously nintendo switch 2 is the one that stands out to me them using the term switch 2 it was probably not the final name of course this is just internal communications but still fascinating if there's some weight there that nintendo's been using that terminology for years because if you're using it for years and you think this is the easiest way to communicate to partners then you have to has some sort of recognition that it's an easily communicatable idea when you just call it that. So maybe that is what you should call it in the end, Nintendo Switch 2. So to me, that just seems like the logical choice, but this is Nintendo and it's probably gonna be something entirely different despite it being clearly another Switch-like device. At least that is what all the rumors and reports and leaks are pointing towards. Now, when we think about the other aspect of this, obviously the Breath of the Wild stuff, look, we went over this the other day, 
Some of you guys seem pretty upset that a Breath of the Wild remaster could even exist. I think it's a little bit overblown. I don't think it took a lot of work. I think it was a handful of developers messing around with DLSS with a Switch game, and they are able to just to get some pretty great results. And so they're deciding to re-release it or release a patch or something. So I, I think we're maybe blowing that out of proportion. It's not going to be the launch selling game it might be a selling point that they can enhance older switch games with dlss but i don't think that it is going to be like the launch selling point game uh, i think that's clearly going to be 3d mario and and something else some third party games too beyond that though uh the other update obviously about the mario party and or some other sort of game clearly nd cube and smile boom could be working on some unique uh aspect game for launch right that is entirely possible you know the one two switch the wii sports of the era the nintendo land of the era this game that kind of showcases all the new functionality and features that might be included with the system you know things like the microphone that's supposedly there so i could see this being a, a really interesting way to combine all that stuff together uh that's just my take of course uh, I, i'm very curious what you guys think about a lot of this stuff because in the end we don't really know what's going to happen um, so Mario Party is probably the best guess. I mean, that is primarily what NDQ works on, but they don't always work with other companies while doing that. Smile Boom is coming in. Smile Boom isn't a very well-known company, but for what they do lately are these, like, create these games where it's a lot of user-generated content. So that maybe could be where you get the idea of making your own your own courses in, in a Mario party, which I think that would actually be pretty fascinating and could create this infinite online aspect in the way where everyone's sharing and creating their own boards. That would be kind of cool, but uh, we'll see if that ends up being an idea they go forward with. It certainly would help, I think, take the online aspect of Mario party to the next level. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. I do want to thank all of you guys for being here. I hope you had a good time and I'll catch you in the next video.